I think it's interesting though in colors. You know, usually when you start a campaign, you pick a certain logo and a certain color, like red and blue, red, white, and blue, and then everything is done the same. On well, this campaign, nothing is done the same. Everybody gets to make their signs just however they want, and, and we're thrilled about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's is, been amazing. It's to, a people's campaign. And how does it feel to be? How does it feel to be in this movement to where you've got honestly no control over the money that comes in, well, the signs that are out there? You saw all the signs coming in here. Now a lot of those came from your campaign, but the volunteers put them out. You guys have okay, very, actually, few, very um, few costs. Those signs came from the meetup groups. Yeah, uh, they. Uh, Y'all didn't have to coordinate it, though. No, no, it's, not at all. And this is, you know, this gives them a part in it. This gives them a reason to go vote. I mean, you can ask people to vote and, and tell them it's their duty, but when they make their own clubs and they go out and wave their own signs, they're going to go vote because they're part of something they believe in. Right. And, you know, they've become very apathetic and not believed in anything. And now that we do, um, I think that's what's caused the meetup groups all over the country. So we're really thrilled with everything they've done. Well, you guys go from here to, um, after you leave Louisiana, where are you going We're going next? to, well, Washington, D.C. Uh, tomorrow is the Right to Life March at the Capitol, and uh, Ron will be doing an interview there, and um, he'll be voting for a couple days. Oh, well, I, I have a question about that. Rosa Parks, um, obviously there's a money bomb, you know, a, camp, a contribution that everybody's working on today for civil rights, their Martin Luther King's birthday. Um, but there have been articles written about how Ron Paul says he he finds that Rosa Parks was one of his heroes, but yet he voted against giving a congressional medal to her. Tell me the real story behind that one. Well, it's, uh, he's voted against the medical uh, cooling for any person that's not part of the Constitution. He said to one of the other congressmen, you know, why don't we just all chip in $100, we could buy a gold coin for this person, and they said, oh, it's not worth it. Was that under the was that the Rosa Parks issue, or was that the, the cardinal that they, well, were, going, they were going to give that $20,000 gold? Is that what that, that they, medal cost, $20,000? several people, and Ron has voted against it each time. There's a story, a Davy Crockett story, that's very good. And it's called uh, Not Mine to Give. And uh, uh, he did the same thing long ago. Uh, they wanted to do something and they want to take the money out of the treasure. They want to take the people's money and do it. Whereas that's not something that's in the Constitution. Right. And, um, uh, the cardinal that uh, Ron had to vote against a gold coin for. Uh, uh, he was He'd given his life to humanitarian right, aid. And, right. And Ron wrote him a note and told him how you know proud he was of what he had done and told him why he voted against it and uh, he got a handwritten note back and the man was very sick and uh, he said, you know, all the rest that went along and just uh, voted for it didn't have a personal letter from the Cardinal. He said he understood because he was that type of person. And just like Mother Teresa, she would never have wanted uh, a gold coin. She would have wanted it for her people. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> you don't see burkas around here very often. No, no, no. No, very different. It is. Well, I, listen, I know you're busy, and I want to thank you. Okay. Now, you mentioned a cookbook. Have you written some other books? Um, we've uh, published about six cookbooks. And, really? Uh, we've used them as campaign pieces uh, because we figured people weren't going to drop them in the wastebasket because they had recipes in. They have pictures of all of our family and all of the grandkids and tell about the family. And it has a... a short article in the back that I wrote called uh, The American Dream by Mrs. Ron Paul. And uh, a lot of people uh, really like to read that story and uh, I'm sure if they write to the headquarters they would send them a copy of the cookbook. It isn't out yet. It's being printed this week so it'll so be how a would people weeks. get So how will people get the cookbook? Um, if they, um, you know, I don't know. You know, you're not really good at marketing yourself here. I know. Well, the thing is, it's usually done for our congressional district. It's going to be bigger this time, It's though. going to be bigger this time. I think time, you might but, want to print a few more um, copies. Because we uh, usually mail it uh, in our congressional district. But I'm sure it'll be available either uh, online at the Ron Paul store or um, calling any one of our headquarters to see if they have them. Uh, they could probably send them a back issue of one of the others before this one is printed, but this one will be when, out soon. When we see your home again, you know? Um, well, we usually.
actually get home every five or six days so that we can wash clothes and start again. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. Thank you so much, and God bless you, Dad. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, dear. Mm -hmm.